We are going to continue with the posterior palsial area. I just showed you how it is identified in the mouth. And yesterday we had a look at the post posterior vibrating line being developed. I'm going to remove this material from the tuberosity region because I don't want material there. I'm going to place it into my into the patient's mouth so I get some record of the lines I've drawn the anterior vibrating line on my tray. Soften it a bit. A shiny appearance. Okay. I will have to redraw the line. I want to place it back into the machine's mouth and see if we can get that. Okay. Right. Very mildly, you can see that is the mark of the anterior vibrating line going through here right so I'm gonna fill up this I need I know I need to open this because this is my posterior nasal spine region I'm gonna add up this and I'm gonna let it flow in to develop the posterior palatal seal remove some material from here My green stick dry. So I'm just going to soften up my green stick so the new one can attach to it. Right, I'm going to place it into that region there. Place it into this region here. Okay. Soften it a bit. Must must move. Must must move. At this point, I don't really recommend the patient saying, ah, if your tray is well extended. If the tray is short, yes, you possibly want to say, ah, because you want to get the turn of the uh, palate and it said that the tray is just at the junction. I've always well extended it into my posterior vibrating line so that my posterior palate seal development is in the tray. So the tray supports it well. I'm just pressing the posterior region. Right. The important thing is that it should be smooth and feathered. I want to remove this excess and I want to soften up this and get it smooth as well. Right. Use an instrument. Make sure the instrument is not too hot. Just gently cut off the excess material. Right. And in this region, you want to flame it because you see there's a small, small step defect. Okay, let me just clean this up. You see here, there's a small step defect here. It's not continuous. This is smooth on. This is almost smooth on. This is okay, but this step defect here, and maybe in some some region here. Open off that a bit. 
All right. I'm going to flame it gently in these regions so that it smooths up. For this, I prefer to use the blower and the Hanos blow torch. You pump it like that and you start getting your flame going off. Okay. 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 See now it's gotten more continuous here. You see that? This has become much more continuous. Right? And this area thing may be slightly short, maybe off the tray, off the contact a bit. I'm just gonna soften it and add some material there and then open it after that. Some small step defect here that I'd like to correct again by flaming from the back. Don't want to burn it really. Yeah, soft dip, dip. more continuous now. I'm going to leave it at that. Some sharp area here. Small sharp step defect here. I'm going to just do this and this up. Sharp defect is gone. Mm, it's 
seems to have slightly burnt in this region. What happens when it burns? How do you correct a burn? Preferably if it's not too much burnt, a thing like this. You want to scrape off the green stick because it no longer flows. Scrape off gently. Then maybe you can just flame it once more. Yeah, so it becomes shiny and then place it into the mouth.